the oceans are showing signs of these extreme temperature events all around the world. We're talking about a huge area of much warmer than normal surface temperatures over the Northeast Pacific Ocean. It's about three times the size of the state of Alaska. The ocean is a critical part of the climate system and it's changing. Here at the beach, you wouldn't know anything is wrong. The air is breezy and the water is chilly as ever. But way out there in the ocean, something is brewing. And scientists don't know how bad it will get. We all know about heat waves on land. We live through them. Sometimes they last for a couple of days. But the last time this happened in the Pacific Ocean, it lasted for three years. Scientists called it the blob. It even has its own Wikipedia page. And now it's threatening to happen again. Over the last century, the average ocean temperature has slowly risen about a degree and a half. But now, a thousand miles offshore and a little bit north of Hawaii, there's a part of the Pacific that's at least seven degrees warmer than normal. Though it's hard to pinpoint a single cause, scientists say nature's air conditioning seems to be broken. The Arctic is especially warm again this summer, and sea ice is very scarce. So we've got big changes going on uh, around the whole planet. That warm water sets off a chain reaction. First, it keeps the nutrients on the ocean floor from rising to the surface, and that causes plankton to die off. Then the fish that eat the plankton have to come closer to shore to find it. Then, you guessed it, the big animals that eat those fish, well, they have to come chasing after them, and that's when we find them washed up here on the beach. In the last marine heat wave, California sea lions were among the hardest hit. Lots of pups were starving and abandoned by their moms, and adult sea lions also suffered a lot of mortality in those years. Some even got stranded in harbors. With all that competition, birds started going hungry too, and the ocean's biggest animals encountered another problem. A spike in whale entanglements in fishing gear, especially Dungeness crab fishing gear. In 2016, some 70 whales got caught up in fishing gear, but that wasn't the only challenge the crab fishery faced. That same year, crab season was on hold for months because of toxic algae that made the crabs poisonous to humans. Again, scientists blamed the unusually warm water. Here on the coast, the impact of this new blob has seemed pleasant so far. There are plenty of fish to catch and great swimming conditions. There have been a number of days where you don't need a wetsuit this summer. And nobody knows how long this marine heat wave will last. But if it persists, we can expect all the bad stuff to happen again. When you hear somebody say, you know, we have one climate, one atmosphere, it's really true. And it's all connected.